Hey everyone. So you've seen me talk about this before, right? The super grip strap video that I did talking with Naomi Wu and some others about if you want to jam your thumb turn on the inside of a door so even if someone has the key, there's no way they're going to they're gonna operate this lock. Uh, I love it. I think it's a cool product. You know, you've got to give me some cool feedback. A lot of you like it too, especially for travel. You know, it's easily deployable. Speaking of easy deployable and easy removable, while it may be quick to operate, it's not exactly the kind of thing that I consider, well, perfect for home use. I mean, if you own one, that's great. Like, put it on your door, it's certainly feasible. But if you want a slightly cleaner solution, here's something I'm checking out. I picked this up online. I found it a while back. Uh, it's essentially the same idea. If you want to prevent your deadbolt from being operable by jamming the thumb turn, but instead of being a fabric strap, great for transport, but not permanent this mounts right behind your cover plate here and kind of locks on the door and gives you an articulating cover let's see if it fits well on my door and if it works now let's see how much fiddly bidding there is to find the exact sweet spot when the deadbolt is thrown so it looks like this is gonna, well, will this even fit? Jesus. So you can kind of see this. This deadbolt, as with, with many, is, is not, you know, right in the very middle of a door. That's actually very uncommon for the deadbolt, you know, shaft to be right in the dead center of the door. So none of this lines up. I mean, could I, could I knock this thing off center a little bit and kind of make it work? Maybe. And you can't even really push it out of the way because it wants to self-center. You can see it's, it wants to spring back up into position because the inner hole uh, is really small. No, it's... Uh, fuck. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's a really cool idea but just grossly incompatible with a number of deadbolt designs, all because of how they made the mounting hardware. All right, so there's a few things. I mean, if they had made this ring wider so you could have a little more room to dance around with it, or if they had made this slot just a little bit wider, even in the middle, because it's it's you know it's really the tip of the travel. It's it's not like, let's say it was just a hair wider, and the deadbolt thumb turn could move you know like this. It's not like that's going to unlock the door. So this is just it's an unfortunate design. Also, this friction fit. It's it's a weird. You can kind of see it's not like using a detent or any kind of compliant mechanism plastic. You know I like that. No, it just sort of has this ridge where there's no corresponding channel on this side. So when you clip it shut, like, it just press fits really hard on there, and it's a pain in the butt to get it open. Ah, I had high hopes. I'm going to keep playing with it. Maybe I'll, I'll do some updates for you. And through <laughs> the magic of buying two of them, as Alec would say, I had one as a giveaway. Uh, maybe I'll still make it the giveaway for this video. I'll tell you what, if you don't know about the uh, how giveaways work, you know, there's this URL. It's, it's, it's like here, and it's down in the description as well. If you're entered into the contest, this is the giveaway this week. Maybe it works better for you than it does for me, and you can respond and, and tell me how it goes for you. So that's about the size of it this time. Is it a good product? I mean, it's a good idea. Is it going to work for you? Eh, maybe better than it works for me. Either way, stay safe out there.